Hey guys, my name is Gia and I'm a junior at Lehigh. And today I'm gonna to be doing a phases of water virtual science experiment for you guys. In this experiment, we will be able to heat or cool a container of water and observe the phase changes that take place within. We can use a magnifying glass to observe any water molecules as a solid liquid or a gas. As we know, the three phases of water are solid, liquid, and gas. Just to go through a few examples, the solid form of water is an ice cube or some sort of ice formation. The liquid phase is just liquid water. And then the gas would be water vapor or water droplets. If you take a really hot shower and you close the door and you see all that condensation that gets up on the mirror, that would be an example of water vapor. And then through this experiment, we will also compare the volumes of these three phases of water because there is a difference. So we can jump right into it right now. So it says, drag the magnifying glass to the container. What do ice, water, and water vapor look like up close? Um, it can give you a different temperature. You can control the temperature by heating it, chilling it, or holding it steady. So. Okay, so if we heat water, it boils at 100 degrees Celsius. This is liquid water. You can see it's boiling. And it's filling up the container. If we drag over these water molecules, you'll see what they look like. They're kind of just floating around. Doesn't seem like there's too many. Oh, down here in that boiling water, there's a lot more where it's boiling than in the top part. They're kind of just floating, but you can see where the bubbles are occurring in the boiling. The water molecules are essentially going crazy all over the place. What happens if we chill it? It's now condensing. And down here you see again, you kind of that crazy water molecule. This is your water vapor up here. And this is the liquid water. So when you're condensing the liquid water, there is no water vapor up here. It's why it's going away compared to as when it's boiling, you're turning it into boiling water and that's when all of that vapor, that water vapor begins to show. So then at zero degrees Celsius is freezing. You can see in ice what the water molecules look like. Here they are simply not moving around that much. They're very stagnant, they don't move around. Okay, and then at 20, negative 20 degrees Celsius, you have that minimum temperature of water reached. And now you can see what it looks like there. So if we hold it steady here, maybe we want to heat it again. So this is the really cool video of the phases of water. We're not gonna watch that, but I hope you guys learned something a little bit interesting about the different phases between water vapor, liquid water, and ice. Again, if you heat it, it will just continue to produce this water vapor in the top part of the chamber. And that's what we were seeing before, water vapor. It's a lot more free around up here. So thank you guys for watching.